Hey there, it's me Oham and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you're new. Uh, sorry for not uploading for a bit guys, uh, have been busy. Dad had to be hospitalized and whatnot, but thank god all of that is over. Don't need, no need to worry about it, but yeah. Today's video will be a two part series on how to beautify your terminal as cramming everything into one video will make the video too long. By the end of the series, your terminal will definitely look far bet better than, well, this. Today's episode will be me beautifying the shell. And no, not bash. It's about time to throw bash in the trash. I'll be using the shell called CSH. Well, yeah. DSH is a Unix shell that can be used as an interactive login screen and as a command interpreter for shell scripting. ZSH isn't like an extended form of the Born shell, simply referred as SH, but with a quite a lot of improvements, including features from other shells such as Bash, KSH, and TCSH. Before I do anything, let me just copy... Actually, no, I, don't, I don't need to. What makes CSH better than most of the shells is the fact that you can customize it using plugins, themes, etc. And for that, you can use a program called OhMyCSH, which is an open source tool for managing your CSH configuration. For example, in my videos, you have seen my terminal looking quite a lot like this. That's because of Oman CSH. Anyway, enough talking. Let's install ZSH. As you can see, I'm in my all things Sway Arch VM, and thus I'll I shall install ZSH using Pacman. You should, however, use your distro's respective package manager. For Debian and Ubuntu users, it'll be sudo apt install ZSH. For Red Hat Enterprise, it'll be sudo dnf install csh and whatnot. But yeah, for me, it's going to be sudo pacman dash s csh. Huh. Let me just install it real quick. It shouldn't take that long. Wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah. I got to sync everything first. Oh boy, that was a stupid mistake. Yeah, let me know how y'all's days is going in the comments section down below. And, yeah, okay, it's basically done installing. Good. Now, now let's run. Give me a second, please. Let's run CHSH-S -S and now run user bin ZSH. Enter your password. Shell changed. Now let's log out of Sway. Super shifty. Yes, exit Sway. Enter your password. And as you can see, this shows it up. Uh, Sway didn't start, but it started up CSH. And now it's asking to set up some basic stuff. Hit 1 on the keyboard to carry on with the setup process. Hit 1 again if you want to alter the number of commands the shell history file should remember all at once. The default is 1000 and I will leave it like that. However, you can also set the history file name, which I shall do. Hit 2 on the keyboard and rename it to the CSH hist. CSH uh, hist. Hit enter as I did, and now zero to save and exit. Hit zero again to start using your system with ZSH. Now that ZSH is ready to be used, let's now customize it by first installing Oman ZSH. Run sh dash c quotation dollar bracket curl dash f s s l https dot colon slash slash raw dot github user content 
GitHub user content dot com slash omazdsh slash omazdsh slash oh wait let me just find the real link real quick mazdsh slash omazdsh slash master slash tools slash install dot sh bracket again quotation uh yeah you should install curl using your distro's respective package manager if you do not have curl installed and wow that was quick now before i do anything let's first set up sway to auto start after logging in tty1 just like how we did in the bash rc file so what we did was let's just do that if tty equals to dev let me just open another one and now let's open wait what all right okay that was a mistake uh okay if i can switch to tty on this never mind okay whatever let's just copy the exact same thing fim dot csh or c if tty give me a second i'll be right back after i finish copying everything over all right i have finished copying it over i just you can just copy it i'll give you like a second or maybe you can just pause it it was literally the exact same thing as i wrote in uh the bash rc file if and then that third bracket t and then the quotation dollar sign bracket tty dollar sign i mean no tty bracket quotation it's basically the same thing it was really nothing unusual and yeah now let's just save and exit out of the zshrc file now run, let's run source dot zshrc, and as you can see, it has run zsh properly. And look at our prompt; it already looks better than the one we have at bash, which is just purely ugly. Now let's actually start configuring ZSH using plugins. I will showcase two plugins, ZSH auto suggestions and ZSH syntax highlighting. The first plugin suggests commands as you type based on history and completions, and the latter enables highlighting of commands whilst they type, quite like the fish shell. Just to show an example of both of the plugins, I shall so as you can see this, right? All right, pseudo Pac-Man. See, it's recommending me and it's also highlighting stuff. So if I run pseudo Pac-Man SY under my password. Now if I run pseudo Pac-Man again, it remembers, it remembers that I wrote pseudo Pac-Man dash SY. And it tells me to basically, if it recommends me if I wanna run pseudo Pac-Man dash SY. But yeah. Let's get into the main installation of the plugins. At first, I shall be installing the ZSH Auto Suggestions plugin. And for that, first let's cd into the omazsh directory, .omazsh, then custom, and then slash plugins. And now, let's run git clone. I'll leave the GitHub repository in the description down below git clone https slash 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 colon slash slash github dot com slash zsh dash users slash zsh auto suggestions and then dollar sign curly bracket zsh dash custom 
dash custom colon colon dash and then da om o my csh slash custom curly bracket slash plugins slash csh auto suggestions it's a long command i'll just leave it in the description down below and that was a pretty fast zsa uh, get clone now for zsh syntax highlighting it's basically going to be the same thing we're just going to have to get clone and for that let's do this let's see and then i'm going to go here replace all of this zsh and then i'm going to write syntax highlighting the highlighting and then switch over to this delete all of the auto suggestion part and write CSA syntax highlighting and yeah it's finished now let's CD and open our CSHRC file Let's search up plugins. Now over here, let's run right here ZSH syntax highlighting as well as ZSH auto suggestions. Save and exit. Now let's run source as ZSHRC. And as you can see, it has successfully installed. It's recommending me based on based on whatever I ran, as you can see over here. So if I run sudo pacman sy and now I run sudo pacman s, uh, you can see that it obviously is recommending me to run sudo pacman sy. And yeah, that should be just about it for today's video of Beautify Your Terminal, a two-part mini series. Uh, the next video should be out in a few days if I do not get busy and yeah thank you for tuning into my channel and until next time see you later folks